Okay, today we're going to cut open a, uh, a Fram Ultra oil filter. And I know a lot of you guys on the boating forums don't like Fram. And I hear, oh, pla or, uh, cardboard end caps. And I hear all this uh, anti-Fram stuff from you guys. And look, some of that old school stuff might have been rooted in fact. And some of you guys might have had some failures. But uh, I would submit that of the products Fram makes, that this particular filter, the Ultra, is a worthy filter and is a very good quality. I've used them many times in this Lexus. I've done, uh, actually this this cut open is from a 15,000 mile run and two oil changes in there. So I left this on for two OCIs. And let's take a look at what it, what it looks like after 15,000 miles. I'm gonna cut this and start after I open okay. it. Okay, got the top off here. So the only real valid complaint I can find about this filter is that the can is just a tiny bit thin. Um, so I just pop the top off. If we look at the base plate, um, it's solid. Uh, the holes have no flarings where they're punched or however the, uh, the inlet holes are. The outlet hole uh, or the outlet uh, thread has at least three, looks like four turns on it. So, and it's uh, nice and thick and the gasket is nice and wide and uh, didn't come loose after 15,000 miles. There was uh, some coloration on the top. I don't know if that's paint or what that is. So anyway, we get to uh, the meat of the thing. Silicon anti-drain back valve, very nice. Uh, it stays flexible and of course the, uh, the filter's filled with oil, so the anti-drain back valve worked great. If we pull this out, we can take a look at the, the inside of it. So you can't really tell much about capacity holding. Oh, look at that, there's uh, something on on there, I'll take a look at that. Can't really tell much about dirt holding from looking at a used oil filter, but what you're looking for is to make sure it didn't come apart, really. So really, if we look at the pleats and touch them and feel them, they're, they're in good shape. Uh, I don't see any visible packing inside the element of anything. There's some debris on the outside, which is interesting. It may just be, but Overall, it looks like this held up pretty well. The, uh, the pleats aren't warped or bent in any way. Um, the bypass valve uh, felt like it uh, had a vacuum on it when I pulled it out. Um, holes, not louvers. Uh, the guys like that. I've never had a problem with louvers, but uh, holes seem to be the preference. And uh, overall, this held up extremely well. Um, let's take a look at the bottom of the can. I'm going to drain this into another filter. I'll put this into a I'll put this into the old cat. It's a little dark in there. Let's take a look at what's at the bottom of the can. Hold up the sun. Yeah, there's some stuff there. There's some paste there. Yeah, there's some paste down there. I don't know if that is magnetic. I'll try to see if it's ferromagnetic. I'll put a magnet on it and take a look at it. But uh, no big chunks, nothing much that's silvery. And there's oil still pretty gold. So all in all, this is a solid piece for you know, seven, eight bucks. Whenever I'm at Walmart, I'll pick them up off the shelf when I can find them. I do run the microgreens as well, very controversial filter with some neat internal bypass technology. Um, overall, I would rate this filter a 9 out of 10. Uh, couldn't really be much better uh, from a spec standpoint, from a build standpoint, just very minor things to complain about. So, guys pissing and moaning about Fram all the time, I'd suggest you actually take a look at this thing. It's pretty nice. Uncle Dave is uh, signing out.